Some of you are probably going to be like, I don't want to take advice from this bitch because she literally has acne all over her face and scars. You know what? That's fine. Alright guys, so I wanted to be honest with you. This is the intro to this video. Hey, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below. Um, let's get into the freaking video. <laughs> Uh, I'm not liking the foundation that I tried today. It looks really bad. I'm not gonna zoom in. This is my skincare routine, and I wanted to film the intro to this on my vlog camera because my face looks so bad right now. My vlog camera isn't that great of quality, but I really hope you guys enjoy my skincare routine, and let's just go ahead and get into it, right? Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this skincare routine and I'm trying out a new product today which I'm sure you can tell if I put it in the title but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm not gonna do on camera and what products I use and then I'll get back on here so the first step to my skincare routine would be to use these Kirkland makeup remover wipes I swear by these my grandma gets them for me in like eight packs from Costco the next step would be to wash my face and I use this purity philosophy face wash i've gone through like three or four of these like this is my third one i think i love this stuff it's definitely pricey it's more high end but it's totally worth it i struggle with acne i feel like this has been a really big part in helping that and i mean i'm assuming for the most part it's all natural oh yeah purity is natural it's literally the first sentence that's on the bottle i'll come back on here and show you the rest of my skincare routine all right so i am out of the shower when i was in the shower i exfoliated my face uh i used one of these i got them at sally's the other day and i never exfoliate my face and i didn't want to use a separate product to exfoliate my face so i put the philosophy face wash on this and exfoliated my face and i can already tell a difference in the way that my face feels on to the new product that i'm gonna be using milk makeup cannabis hydrating face mask and i bought the whole kush set because i thought it was a really cool idea to have cannabis infused makeup i guess so i'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my face this i've never used let's just Now, I've never used milk makeup before, so I don't know anything about any of their products or how they work. So I guess I just put this on my face. It kind of smells like Play-Doh. I never really like face masks, if I'm going to be honest with you. They just kind of seem like an extra step that's not that necessary. But today, I wanted to try this. So this is what my face looks like. I think you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes. Apply mask evenly to dry or damp skin. Let sit for 5 to 10 minutes, then rinse with warm water. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start this for 10 minutes, and I will be back. Okay, guys, so my alarm is going off. One thing I will say that I like about this so far is that it's not so stiff to where I can't talk. Like, this is very comfortable, whereas with most masks, it's not comfortable. But this is, like, flexible. I can move my face. So I think the directions say remove it with warm water. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now that that's done, why I, I wouldn't do a mask is because, well, normally you wouldn't be able to, if it wasn't so easy to get off, you would still have it on your face and it'd be clogging your pores. But that was so easy to get off. Like, usually I have a problem with getting masks off and I have to scrub really hard, but that was so easy, it washed right off. I liked that a lot. But the next step, some people are probably about to look at me like I'm crazy and well that's okay. So I'm going to get a cotton round and these are the cheap ones from Walmart. Totally regret it uh, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. These are really crappy but what you're going to do. 
So my aunt is a dermatologist and she actually prescribed this to me. If you can get this product prescribed to you, I 100% would try to do it because this stuff has helped me with my acne since, and I'm dropping it. This stuff has helped me with my acne since I started using it and I love it. And as you can see, it's a huge bottle. It's only like 30 bucks, but it's totally worth it. Um, this is what it is, I don't know. I really like this stuff. I do about six to seven sprays on here. Just to make sure it's really damp. And then I'm gonna take some Walmart brand alcohol and put some on here. Now some of you may be wondering why are you putting alcohol on your face? This get like just a little bit. I don't know if I even got that in frame, but only a little bit, not a lot. And this is going to get the rest of your makeup off if there is any left. Now normally I wouldn't use the mask, so most of my makeup is probably already off. But this is just going to get in your pores. It's going to take out all the dirt and germs and whatever makeup, your makeup wipes and your face wash mist. And it's going to dry out your acne. Like, look at that. There's still stuff on my face. Whether it's the mask or the makeup or whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. There's still stuff. I just flipped it over to see if there would get any more on there. I mean, yeah, kind of. There's still some on there. So, that is kind of essentially my toner. These two combined are my toner. My aunt recommended me use this. Uh, like I said, I struggle with acne, so I have a lot of acne scarring on my face. So I use this, and it is $32, I believe, at CVS. And I mix this with my Curology. I just do one pump of my Curology. And I don't, one pump of this is ginormous. You don't even need a pump that much. That is all my daily skincare products. I do the same thing every day. There has been no changes except for this. I wanted to try this out for this video. But that is it. That is my skincare routine. I don't know how long this video is going to be. And some of you are probably going to be like, I don't want to take advice from this bitch because she literally has acne all over her face and scars. You know what? That's fine. I feel like these products are working for me because my face looks so much better than it did a few months ago. So I definitely, definitely recommend everything in this video. This was a hit for me. I loved it. It was flexible on the face. I was able to move my face. It wasn't stiff. It was easy to wash off. I, I like this. I will definitely continue to be using it. Alright guys, so that was the end of today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know that you loved me by subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Not knowing how to freaking stop recording. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done. I clearly did not get my makeup off very well right here because I'm dumb. Makeup, or my, this is my, my I'm going to just stop talking while I have my hands on my face. In the morning, um, I wash my face with this and I do the cotton pad with this, not the alcohol, just this. And then with my primer, I mix it with this and that is my skincare routine.